So what's going on with Paris and why is this actually a pretty bad map or at least according to most of the community now I think what's happened here is this is an exercise in deploying a new hero and a new map that both work together very well But also probably Blizzard really trying to encourage a map specific meta because if you think about it That's a really clever way of making the you know more of the heroes get used because you can be like oh This is the point where we run Bunker comp. This is the point where we do this. This is the map where we run this, right? So let's just take a look at this map because I do believe it does have some issues. Now, first thing I want to address is there is high ground over here to the top left-hand side of the screen. You guys know you can go over the top. Now, the issue with that, if you utilize that high ground, anybody going over there into the back is going to take horrific fire from any defenders who will be located in this position i.e the entire enemy team so you are probably going to get smashed in fact the best thing i've seen or the best use i've seen for the flank to the left the high ground flank is generally for farah to just get some cheeky rocket shots sort of into this position you know kind of try and mess up whoever is in this area all right so that's that kind of address but that that's not too bad now if you look at other maps if you look at Eichenwald, in the past Eichenwald, if we just Imagine for a second this is Eichenwald. It did not have this um, area, or it did not have this area. It literally had one choke. It was under the bridge for us to move through to attack. This caused a lot of problems with bunker comps at the time, where you'd have like Junkrat and Bastion and Hanzo, whatever, just blasting through the choke because it's the only way you could flank. There were other flanks, like to the extremes of around the outside of the map, but it wasn't really very effective. You could only really use certain heroes like Farah, and I believe Doomfist could probably do it. Uh, maybe Genji could do it, but definitely Farah could do it. It wasn't ideal. So you can see Blizzard have learned from map design problems that they've had in the past. So now we've got a new solution to this. So Blizzard is saying, okay, we've actually got a way you can go here. We've also got an area here where you can hide. You can't actually go through this because this is a wall here. But what you can do is rush into this area and then quickly rush around the corner. And that would take you. So if we just give us ourselves a, a nice clear line, we could run through there and then round into the police station. Again, the issue with this is you are going through this area, so you're going to take a ton of fire. And what happens on this map is the defenders are here. There will be an Orissa barrier here. There will be a Bastion. There will be a Batiste. And they will absolutely hammer anything that comes through this choke. So the problem we've got with this choke is to even access any of the flanks, we are taking fire from the defenders. That is not great, right? Now, it's kind of the same as Eichenwald, right? Because Eichenwald is sort of like that. However, Eichenwald does not give you, as a defender, one critical key advantage. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what I'm highlighting here. It's high ground. They actually straight up give you a high ground position. And if you guys know me, you take the high ground and you win the game. So you have a massively powerful position here to defend from. You essentially sit here with the new fancy hero, with all immortality field, with a bastion, and maybe a mercy as well, just a damage boost to bastion, and you just hose down anything coming through this choke. This is the meta of this map, and the only way that would change is if another hero is introduced into the game, which can somehow dislodge defenders, or they change the map. And they've changed the map before, will they change Paris? We'll have to wait and see. It's kind of funny because we thought Paris was going to be a tank-heavy map, but we didn't know about Batiste. And as soon as Batiste came out, it's like, oh, well, guys, it's time to set up the bunker. And of course, oh, and don't forget this, which is a nice, lovely defensive um, line of sight blocker, which if you're Mercy, you can just stand behind damage boost in the Bastion, which is lovely. But there are other issues with this position. So what I want to do here is just take us forward. Uh, also, as well, there is this area behind, where as an attacker, you can use it to spam shots through to the defenders who will probably be in this position which is well not really that effective because they're probably all standing there and you're not really going to be able to do enough to them again the issue with this here is if you're the defender you get to attack the attackers before they get to attack you which is really good right okay let's reset the camera to a different position here so let's take a look at it from the defender's position so if we uh, go a little bit higher kind of sit about here okay cool so what this is going to show us now is if i just grab my pen Okay, so I've grabbed my pen. Now, as an attacker, you've got a couple of options here. So if the defenders are set up on this location here, which almost certainly they will be, 
they've got access to fire into anything which comes around here. This is the high ground I spoke about earlier on. It's okay um, for certain flankers, like I said, but you, you're not going to get your entire team over there. So, if we take a look at this, defenders are here, attackers are coming through. Now, if the attackers take this path, so they rush through here, take a very quick left, well, a left to the attackers, a right to us as defenders, run through here. Okay, you can see the map design, sort of um, the way Blizzard is trying to help the attackers here. So, this thing blocks line of sight to defenders on here, right? So, that's going to block line of sight. This thing here is going to block line of sight. So there are, and, and obviously the wall here is going to protect you. So you can move through here. So theoretically, you get to this position as the attackers. Now, what do you do? This is the big killer problem with this map. Like, what do you do now as the attackers? Well, okay, you can maybe run up here. You can maybe get into here. Maybe you're lucky enough to get around here. Maybe, as you're here, you run down here and try to go towards the point. What is happening to you at every moment you leave this defensive position here, this line of sight blocker? You are taking incredible fire from the defenders here who are firing down into this position, firing through into this position. You are taking so much fire, it is very difficult to get anything done here. So you are, you're not screwed because sometimes you can win. You know, I've seen teams rush forward into this position, so the defenders are here again. Uh, they rush forward here. They maybe set up their own bastion and try and, like, fire into the enemy team. All kinds of weird stuff going on. But the fact remains, the defenders have got such a massive advantage here. It's why a lot of the point, or a lot of the games that you, you will tend to play in, will result in this point being held first, especially if you're the defenders, because it's so difficult to attack. You need a coherent attack plan. And this is where it kind of comes back to not being great map design, because a lot of the time, to actually break this choke, you're looking at just stacking ultimates and then just going in and everybody sort of blasting their ults, hoping for the best. Obviously, you need certain heroes like D.Va to soak up the damage from the Bastion because there will be a Bastion. And even if there isn't a Bastion, the defenders have got such a great position here on the high ground with access to every attacking location. It's actually kind of crazy when you think of it that way. Like, to design a map like this is, is very weird. Or at least it seems like that way to me. You guys let me know what you think about this in the comments below. So the next thing I want to show you guys is... Again, this this is this is super weird. I don't know why Blizzard have done this. This is really, really weird. So if you're the attackers and you take this point, so we're in the spawn and we've took it. All right, let's say we've died, whatever, on an attack to the second point. Now we're going to move back to the fight. This is the longest distance in any 2CP map to get back to the action. Like, it is by far the longest. It is crazy. Like, we're still running. I mean, we're, we're, we're traveling faster here. I think I think actually the spectator can travel faster. I think it does. Yeah, it does travel faster than uh, standard movement speed. But, yeah, I mean, here would be like, okay, we're, we're sort of in the fight maybe at this point. Maybe. But that's a big kind of maybe because we, like, where's our team? They could be down there. They could be over there. So this area of the map is really weird. So it takes a long time to get here. I mean, well, that's a wall. So if we... Um, go up into the sky and we look down. You can see there's a, 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 the distance is just incredible. Like, I don't... Like, why is that the spawn? Why isn't this the spawn? Or somewhere in here with the spawn. You know, maybe the... I don't know. The second floor of this building. I, I don't know. Somewhere that should be closer because the, the distance to get back is crazy. Now, think about 2CP and the way Blizzard's um, methodology is with this map or their ideology, whatever you want to call it. It's defenders have a major advantage on the final point. That means you get your respawns faster. So the enemy team, the attackers, have to kill you all completely in a massive wipeout to stand the chance of capturing the point. And that's cool, and that's totally fine. The thing with this point, which is really frustrating, is the size of the point for the defenders and both the attackers, but also how easy it is for the defenders to get back and contest the point. And I'll show you that in a second. Especially with this. This statue is, is just like... It, it, it's so weird that this statue is there, right? Think of Hanamura, right? Um, I've, I've got to rant about this now. So in Hanamura, you would have a statue, uh, not a statue, but you've got like the um, the lantern, the boxes, whatever they are. You've got like one there, and then you'd have like one here at the entrance to the point. Yeah, you've got the bridge, you've got high ground around the point, whatever. But actually on the point itself, there is not something like this. What hero can use this to stall like crazy. That's right, it's Hammond, and I really want to do that in this video, so we'll get back onto that in a second. But it's really weird that they decided to put that there. I mean, obviously, it's there to block this high ground as well, to give the defenders a bit more of an advantage so they're not just totally out in the open getting killed. But this is the only high ground on this point. 
There is high ground over here, but it's not really high. I mean, it's, it's actually a little bit lower, I think. Or maybe it's the same level. It's not really high ground, right? But if people are fighting on the point down here, if you're a DPS player, even if you're a support, if you're like an Anna or whatever, you're standing on top of here. You've just, you can just do whatever you like to the attackers. It's crazy. So let's just go through what would happen here on an attack because, yeah, okay, it takes a long time to get here. The first thing we've got to do is decide which door to go through. We've got middle, we've got left, and we've got right. There's actually two ways to go on the left, but which way are we going to attack? Ideally, we're not going to run straight through the middle because as soon as we get here, we're going to take fire from the defenders. This means you either have to go to the left or to the right. Any team which is directly attacking down the middle is asking for trouble. You're going to take so much spam, it is just not, it's just not value at all. So you either want to go left or right. In terms of which way is better, it's kind of up to you. I, I would prefer going the right way, but let's just go the left way for the sake of it. So we come through here, line of sight blocker, this is cool. Um, here we're kind of like, okay. There shouldn't really be that much going on from the enemy team in this position. Maybe they come to fight us here. If they do, hey, whatever, we take the fight. Um, but still, we've got this problem where we're trying to get onto the point here. I mean, look at this. Look at all of the line of sight blockers that's going on here. It's super difficult to get anything done if you're DPS from this position. You, or like even if you're tanks or whatever, you need to get on the point. This poses a problem. We're getting onto the point. We're taking fire from that defensive position directly in front of us. We're taking fire from literally everywhere else. So when we're attacking this point, we're kind of trying to just like... Maybe we try to get around the side, dislodge the defenders here. Maybe we try to push onto the point and just take them on and hope for the best. Maybe the defenders are not using the high ground for some reason. Maybe they're on the low ground down here. Um, still, we want to get in and fight them. It, it's, it's pretty crazy. But this is what I wanted to show you guys. So let me just bring up the UI for a second. Uh, in fact, I need to put myself onto onto the team. I mean, I just basically want to roll around with Hammond just to show you what's going on here. Because this to me is, it's it's, I don't understand why you would do this but hey um okay let me just swap me to uh blue team cool welcome to paris okay cool and we want to pick hammond and uh yeah so just just watch this right so we we've, we've died on the point now this doesn't necessarily have to be hammond it could be anyone we can get back to the point a number of ways so if we go right we can come down here we can come to here now we've got a lot of different ways to get back onto the point and get onto the point really quick now there's probably some of you guys out there going well start hanamora is quicker to get back to the point is it that's what i'm going to say there is it it might be, but you're really exposed when you're trying to get back to the point on Hanamura. So you tend to get killed before you actually get down onto the point. Here, though, where I'm not exposed here. I can just be like, oh, yeah, I'm here, right? Now I'm here. All I've got to do now is literally get to here and I'm on the point. That That is so much safer than on Hanamura. It's crazy. So some design elements on the map. It's like Blizzard have... They've solved the problem before with other maps, but then they recreate the problem again. And it's really weird. Okay, so... If we want to get back to the point and contest, this is my issue with this. You can just literally do this. Um, now, you're probably saying, all right, Stai, whatever. Like, people doing this, does this really work? It, it does. This really does work. It absolutely works, 100%. Every level I've played the game at um, on this map so far, this works. Because it's so hard to kill Hammond here. I mean, you need, like, um, somebody to disable him. Like a Sombra, uh, a McCree, uh, a Hog. And if you don't have that, then you're just doing this. And by the time, you know, they do kill you, you've probably got some more people back on the point. I remember, it's 2CP. Um, it, it is literally my least favorite game mode. It's probably the same for a lot of you guys out there. But um, you get that one killer to defenders. And again, you've got a pretty huge advantage. So I think, to be honest, that this kind of sums it up. Like, the map is... It's weird. Like, it is a very visually striking map. The design of it is incredible. All of Blizzard's maps are basically incredible. I don't think anyone could even say the maps are terrible. The map, like... Art direction, the environment design is incredible. But some of the decisions when it comes to the flow of the map are really, really weird. And you can see that, well, this is just going to end up as a bunker comp map. Now, we didn't know that at the time when the map came out, simply because we did not know Batiste existed. With Batiste sitting here, with his immortality field, with his AoE burst healing, with a Bastion literally sitting here behind a, an Orisa barrier just spraying into anyone who comes through here. I've done it. I've done it literally loads of times. You win so many games doing it. It's crazy, and it's just simply because of the map. Like, what I would say is, how do we fix that? And I guess we'll end the video on this. So let me just go back to um, being a spectator. So I would like to join the spectators. Superb, lovely. And let's just look at ways of fixing this, because it's all right highlighting the issues. But how do you fix this? Because it doesn't really help anyone if we sit here moaning about stuff, going, well, okay, the map's terrible. Do I think the map's terrible, I guess? I, I don't think it's 
totally terrible. I think it's just easy to play. And you almost go in and it's like, okay, we're on Paris. We know what we're going to do. Total no-brainer comp. So this point here, I don't understand. Like, I really, really don't understand why this high ground in front of us. This high ground, I don't agree with. The other thing I don't agree with is this. This should be, there should be a door here, right? And this door should take you through to here. If you can get here without being attacked by the defenders, I mean, they can still sort of see you through there, right? But this is much safer if you could get here. Then you can try and get onto the point. You can move through here. Okay, you're still going to take fire, but you've got options. You've got things to do. Instead of just trying to run the gauntlet over and over again, where you're just getting destroyed. Because here, you literally have to walk forward, and you're like, oh my god, uh, let's do a left. We're taking fire. We're taking fire. Uh, we're taking fire. Okay, we're safe, but what do we do? Now, the defenders might reposition to kill us, or it's like, oh god, what do we do? What do we do? Our Reinhardt barrier is gone because we're taking loads of fire from the Bastion. And now it's like, okay, do we go, do we go up here? Okay, maybe we do, but maybe we don't all make it. Maybe we try and go this way. It is just so easy for the defenders. And it's simply because of this high ground that gives you vision over the entire first point, which is just crazy. And I haven't even taken into consideration the back area of the point. Again, this is nice high ground, um, but you, you generally don't tend to use this that much. This is just kind of if it's like, uh-oh, desperation times, we've been pushed off this defensive position here. So now we need to push back and defend. But that's why I think this point is crazy. So I think that if we... Lower the high ground here. Or do something so it's not as crazily powerful. Because, I mean, you're walking through like this as the attackers, and it's just not great. And maybe give us another way to push onto the point this way. Or, or at least a safer way to get at least through to the police station. Then I think that would help the first point a little bit. This flank, I mean, I think this is a cool idea. But like I said, it's not something we're actually going to really use for a full-on attack. And we've just left the game, so it's kind of unlucky. I mean, how rude, Blizzard. How dare you close the server down? It's not like I've been running around on Paris for literally hours all day. Anyway, this flank, I think, is okay. I mean, you can sort of, like, use it to poke with Farah. I mean, that's kind of what I do. I'd come to sort of here, a few cheeky rockets in, maybe try and concussion blast the this thing in the middle because sometimes it knocks down the tanks from the front here. So there are little things you can do, but it's not, like, it, yeah, it, it's, it's kind of cute, and, and it's okay. I don't think they really need to look at that. The other thing I want to see is this spawn room get removed. I, I just hate this. When you die on Paris, it feels like you, you... It's like the... It's like that very famous song, 500 Miles. You've got to walk 500 miles to get back. And then, yeah. And if you're not all to, And if somebody gets picked off, it's even more frustrating. Because it's like, oh my god, we've got to wait. You know, these are problems on Hanamura that were solved. These were problems on other two CP maps that were solved. Look at the spawn distance on Hanamura. Maybe it's similar, right? Maybe actually measurement-wise, it might be slightly similar. It doesn't feel like that. I know I know, it's not similar for a fact. But there are things you can do which you just can't do on this map, and that's an issue. So the spawn needs to be moved closer. This point itself, towards the end, I just, like... I don't like this statue. I'd like it if the statue was removed uh, or maybe put somewhere else because it's just too easily abusable by a Hammond. I also think that it gives a little bit too much protection to the high ground here, because if you're up here, your protection should be your barrier, right? The enemy team want to peek you from down below, or want to peek you from the right, or peek you from the left, that's up to them. That's what your barriers are there for. You sh there shouldn't be a massive statue in the middle, which is like giving you that extra bit of, like, haha, I've got protection. So I think this map it is, right now, the worst map in the game. Um, there are arguments for Horizon still being not a great map, um, but this map, I just have an issue with the way it is so dependent on a certain comp and the just little niggly problems it's got that I think at this age and at this stage in Overwatch's life, these really shouldn't be a problem anymore. Guys, let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. It's been a little bit different um, to the recent videos. I kind of wanted to put a more, um, uh, a more sort of... It's not more edited, I guess, but a more like um, editorial kind of piece together instead of just looking at uh, the new stuff off the workshop, which is still super cool and fun to do. And it's like literally loads of stuff. I mean, some guy actually sent me a Bastion fighter pilot mode um, <laughs> workshop. I was like, what the hell is this? So that's something we're definitely going to have to take a look at. But yeah, I think Paris needs a bit of work and uh, hopefully, you know, things will change. All right, guys, I've been Salosa. This is Unit Lost. If you guys enjoyed the video, then like the video. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter, which is at Salosa. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is at Salosa as well. And I will catch you lovely lot on the next one. Toodaloo.